to my parlor. Hey, what's up guys? Raz here, and welcome back to another boss guide for classic World of Warcraft. This week we return to Nax Ramus and dive straight into the first raid boss of the Spider Wing featuring a Nubricon. I've been too long without food, without blood to drink. A Nubricon is usually the first boss from any guilds entering Nax Ramus for the first time, since the Spire Wing is arguably the easiest place to clear out first. But despite being an introductory raid boss for Nax Ramus, keep in mind that this encounter features new mechanics and abilities that will wipe any raid that blindly charges in. So at the start of the encounter, we have two Crypt Guards, one on each side and the boss himself. The Crypt Guards need to be tanked facing away from the raid due to their cleave ability, while the main tank will hold a Nubricon down in the back, while the rest of the DPS cleans up those two adds. The Crypt Guards also have an AoE net ability that they will throw on players around them, so tanks might want to also use free action potions before engaging. Aside from that, they also have a fast stacking poison dot that they place on their targets, so if your DPS doesn't kill them fast enough, then you may need to have tank swaps on these guys, so just keep that in mind as well. So while your raid is finishing up those Crypt Guards, let's now start focusing on Nubricon. The first ability that you'll probably see first is Impale, which is a long line of spikes they will send out toward a random player that does heavy physical damage while also throwing any affected players up into the air and causing them to take fall damage as well. So what your raid needs to do is spread out in a semi-circle around Nubricon, and healers will need to quickly spot heal any players to get knocked up into the air so that they don't die from fall damage if their health gets too low. And next, the biggest issue with this encounter is that for every player or Crypt Guard that dies, a Nubricon will target their body and start spawning Corpse Scarabs. So 5 will spawn from players, and 10 will spawn from the Crypt Guards. Now on their own, the Scarabs aren't really too bad to deal with, but the problem is when they start stacking on players, they can quickly kill them and the more deaths you have in this fight just causes a massive snowball effect which eventually will lead to a wipe. So just make sure that your DPS are using AoE abilities to quickly clear these guys out as soon as they start appearing. And then finally, we have Locust Swarm. So this is an AoE spell that Nubricon will use roughly every 1-2 to two minutes, which quickly kills anyone standing in it, as well as silencing affected players which makes them unable to use any abilities at all. As soon as you start seeing Nubricon use this ability, everyone needs to move back, and the main tank will need to kite a Nubricon back to the entrance and around the ring that makes up the center of the room. Your main tank will need to use a speed potion or have a hunter use aspects of the pack to stay ahead of the Locust Swarm while he or she kites the boss around the ring. And keep in mind that if he does a second Locust Swarm before the fight ends, then your tank will need to kite him back to his original position and over again until the boss is finally dead. And finally, just remember that every time Locust Swarm is used by Nubricon, a new Crypt Guard will spawn which will need to be killed first. So to quickly summarize everything, clear the adds at the beginning of the fight and keep them faced away from the raid while your main tank holds the boss down in the back. Spread out for Impale and clear out any corpse scripts that appear during the fight. During Locust Swarm, move away from the boss, kill the Crypt Guard that spawns, and make sure to heal the main tank and use Aspect of the Pact if they need it, while they kite that boss back to the entrance. Once Locust Swarm ends, then get back on the boss and rinse and repeat until the fight is basically over. But with that being said, that pretty much wraps up the fight. So as always, thank you guys for watching to the end, and stay tuned for more to come. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.